To change the brakes, first thing you need to do is remove the split pins from the calipers. It stops the bar coming loose and falling out. You'll then need to compress the metal spring on top and try and move that bar. As you can see I've used a pair of long nose grips just to push the bar backwards. Once the pin's out, remove the spring clip. You'll need to take the retaining pin out completely. As you can see, it won't come out from the back, it's got to come back out through the front. I found it easier to remove the front brake pad first. With the screwdriver, I'm pushing back the piston, which obviously allows the, the pad to come loose. Draw the pin completely out, you may need to push the piston back on the other side as well. pressure on the front and the back of the piston because there's two parts to the piston as you can see <clears throat> the new pads are obviously going to be considerably thicker than the old so just make sure that you return the pistons as far back as you possibly can Fitting is the reversal of removal. Find out which way the pads go in. Just drop them in place. As you can see, they're incredibly simple. I went for EBC Eco Brakes. As you can see, I didn't quite push the front pistons back far enough. There we go. So the next part to slide the pin in just halfway because you still need to put the spring clip back on if you can try and make sure that the holes as you can see there are facing up because it will be much easier to return the retaining clips you'll need to get those all lined up which can be a bit fiddly sometimes as you can see this wasn't too bad refit the split pins and that's it we're done it's a good idea after changing brake pads to just pump the brakes a few times just to make sure that the pads rebite the discs. Good luck with your own pads and I hope this helps.